and replify one acceleration. Here I have two identical virtual machines running Windows 7. Both are accessing a remote SharePoint site. The virtual machine on the left is using Replify One Acceleration. The virtual machine on the right is not. We'll begin by clearing the Replify client cache. On the lower half of the screen, we are observing the Replify Virtual Appliance Live Traffic Statistical Graph. Raw data throughput is displayed in red. Optimized throughput is shown in yellow. On the virtual machine without Replify, we're going to download a file from the SharePoint site. We'll perform the same action on the client using Replify. We can immediately see a vast improvement in throughput. Observe the live traffic statistics showing raw versus optimized throughput. The Replify client has completed the download in just 15 seconds. The client without Replify is still downloading the same file. Finally, the client without Replify has completed the download in 1 minute 7 seconds compared with 15 seconds using Replify. So what happens if we download the same file again? The file could have been updated by another user and contain different but similar information. Unsurprisingly, the client without Replify is equally as slow as before. The client using Replify is a little different. Replify recognizes the file as being similar to its cache content and so only sends a tiny amount of data over the WAN. The same file is downloaded in less than one second. We can see the overall WAN offload and performance increase in the Replify client. We can also see the enormous effective throughput. While we wait for the client without Replify to continue the download, I will download a different but much larger file. This file is twice the size of the original file, but much of the content is the same. We can immediately see that Replify is recognizing the contents of the file and is increasing throughput by using its caching algorithm. The native client finally finished in 53 seconds compared to Replify's one second. Downloading from SharePoint is only half the story. Users will need to edit, upload and attach to emails different versions of the same document. Here I am going to edit the documents on both clients. I'll change the contents. Save with a different file name. File name will correspond to the name of the client, the type of client. It's updated without Replify. Save this one as uh, updated with Replify. Now the files are saved. I can upload them to SharePoint. I'll start with the clients without Replify because it is going to take much longer to upload.
give it a quick description in SharePoint. Hit OK. The usual SharePoint authentication will take a few seconds and the file will start to be uploaded. Re repeat the same process on the client with Replify. Browse for the updated file. Again, provide a SharePoint description. Hit OK. Again, we do have a, a, a few seconds uh, SharePoint authentication to wait for. We can immediately see the uh, Replify throughput statistic showing us a large amount of optimization for the upload. And there we have the SharePoint client has completed the upload. Finally, check it in. We can see the tiny amount of data shown in yellow, representing the amount of data we've uploaded back to SharePoint. Finally, the client without Repify has completed the upload. We can finally check in. That concludes the Replify SharePoint demonstration.